Hi guys, got a request from Josh Caleb or Caleb. Uh, got to make a rubber band powered car that uses three rubber bands for the motor. It's got to pick up a small object about two centimeters long and carry it for one meter. Uh, there's a few more details, I'll put them in the video description. But I'll use this cardboard tray. That's the basis for the chassis. I shall cut it up to use it. I shall use some of my CDs that have already got the bottle tops on them for the hubs in the middle. And probably use barbecue skewer or something like that as the axle. I've got two of them. And for the front wheels, I'm going to use these small plastic balls. Uh, they actually come from roll-on underarm deodorants and I've used them before which is why they've already got holes in them so that will be the front wheels which will keep the front very low because my idea is that I'm just going to use it a bit like a snow shovel or something it's going to go along and scoot underneath whatever it is it's got to pick up and it'll drop inside and carry it for a meter right I've cut the base out of that cardboard box so that will be my chassis. I've also got some more cardboard, some thinner stuff, lighter, that I shall use to make the sides of the car and the back of the car. It's just going to be like a big box. This piece of cardboard will be the back of the car. So I've drawn a line on it that will give me the right amount of ground clearance. I want the car to be very low to the ground. So I'll now hot glue my drinking straw across the back. So that's the height the axle will be. Then I'll cut the centre section out so we can actually wrap the rubber band around the axle when it's in place. Same at the front. I'm going to put the axle tube on top of the base because that gives the right amount of ground clearance for those plastic balls. Test run time. That's the car all up together which I'll explain later. On my kitchen floor I've got a mark there, starting line. I've got another mark there that's a metre away from the first one. got a mark there that is three meters away from the first one. So if I can carry the little object which I've put just there, this little plastic sewing kit, if I can carry it from that line past the last line it will go two meters. So we'll wind up the rubber band and let it go all set up. So I'll carry the camera and see if we can follow it. Make sure we point in the right direction. Yeah, that should do. So we travelled the full distance. I did actually drop it at the end, so maybe I should try that again. But it certainly carried it for the well, carried it for two metres. Right, we'll try again. That's better. Nice clean pickup that time. So, better do a summary. Basically, we've got a simple cardboard box. Got CDs for wheels at the back with a barbecue skewer for the axle. I've got plastic uh, roll-on deodorant balls for the front wheels just so I can get it very close to the ground. I've actually put a piece of plastic cut from a pop bottle just to go right down to the very ground to give us the maximum chance of picking anything up. Uh, that's what we actually picked up. Just a little um, plastic 
sewing kit, but it had to be something about two centimetres. Well, that's about two centimetres wide and about four centimetres high. Uh, rubber band, there's three rubber bands there joined together. I've just got a barbecue skewer going through the top of the car there to hook it onto. It's a bit weak actually, that bends a bit. I could do with something a bit thicker. At the back we've got a little hole so we can get to the axle. And that's another piece of barbecue skewer hot glued onto the axle to give us a hook to hook the rubber band onto. But that's it. Basically it's just a big cardboard box with a scoop on the front. That's actually adjustable. I've got a bit of blue tack there just to hold it in place. So, job done.